Uh, that should be our last stone circle of the day. I didn't, I didn't come out today to look at stone circles, but that's how they ended up. Last time I was here was we uh, wallow. Warm day. They were building that path straight ahead. They were just building it. Looks like it's finished now. Darver Forest is two and a half mile away. Well known for mountain bike tracks and stuff. And uh, this is the darkest place in Northern Ireland. If not Ireland. There's dark skies. The dark skies are protected here. Uh, there's half a mile down the road. There's um, glamping things for the dark skies. But uh, you can walk from here now. There's a bit of a lane and then it's a boardwalk. We'll do that today. We'll do these big circles over here first, Pat. These are the most spectacular circles. They're not big stones, but there's lots of circles. And um, we'll do this now with Luna. And then we'll come back and we'll get something to eat, Luna. Because you are starved. Starved. Luna did not want to look at stone circles. She, she's been dragged around them. But uh, I, was, I was going to come up with a caravan two weeks ago up the, up the John Manor. And then the problem with the electrics in the car, this car socket, there's no power going to the car socket. They power the caravan electrics. And uh, so now I'm in the car. Mom, that's right, Luna, Luna. Now I'm in the car with no caravan. I want to do the wee spaces I can't do when I got the caravan. Mom, now that's my pet. I was here last year with we uh, wallow. But the. Uh, I have to get uh, Luna interested in strays. A wee bit helps. I'm just wondering, can I use my electric scooter in that path over there? I'm going to take a wee look to see the stones begin with. Hi, Dan. Happy dog. Happy dog, get out of the boat. Is that you, honey? Is he Aye. Enjoy the day. Aye, good luck to you. So here's the name of the circle here now, like. Something more stone circle. Cairns and alignments. See all sorts. We've got alignments too. Cairns, alignments, portal tombs, passage tombs. Uh, what, what all one have we seen? Seen something else. It's just a very busy place back in this day, wasn't it? That's sure they're all arguing with each other. I've seen each other's stones. You mind you go around, uh, you mind you go around trying to pick up all the stones to make these things. And somebody, else, I, I mine as a William. Um, uh, the friend, oh, we, we, had, we had a Halloween bonfire in the friend's garden. He had a big garden. And, uh, there was a housing estate. There was only a wee ditch between our housing estate and the next door, the next housing estate. There's in Stavon. And you know how you do with Williams? You go up, you take a wee whack, and you sort of pinch all wee branch off another bonfire. See the boys, they chased us. They were, they were trying to steal one twig of their bonfire, like in the chasers. I would say back in, in the, they were building these stone circles. Whoever was building that stone circle there probably took a wee stone of a pile that belonged to somebody else. And they were going to act like, where they are? That's my stone there. I packed that up. And I said, how do you know that's your stone? Look, I know about the dent on it. You just imagine the argument that took place. Everyone doing their own wee stone circle. So the stone circles, alignments and all sorts of things. You just type of wee place you need to be drawn. But like they're not that big really. But like this is a real McCoy here like. Bear in mind when they built these, they didn't know about Stonehenge. Stonehenge was like, they all say the word. So to them, this is the biggest stone circle they've ever seen in their life. That looks like a perfect circle, there, isn't it? Not quite. I think it's aliens been here or something. Aye. Some farm might have borrowed that for a gate post or something. That woman says you're well behaved, pet. Little does she know that, uh, what is it now, five months now, five months I have her. You're a lunatic? Ah, oh, see, that's well behaved now. Luna's improved a lot. Still more improvement needed. I think that's just going to come with age. Well, we're looking forward to the big 5-0, aren't we, Luna? We get the 5-0. Come on this way, honey. Luna, stone's up this way. Archaeology. 
So there's a bit of an alignment there now, like. I remember years ago coming near Cookstown on the motorbike and a stone circle. And I don't think it was too far from John Manor, but can I find it? But for what, what I remember in my memory, there were taller stones than them. And it wasn't... This is the only place I can find around here, is this big place. But that's not what I have in my head. The memory I have in my head was there were bigger stones, taller stones. And they were closer to the main road in Cookstown. They weren't on it, but I said a couple of miles, but I don't see no stone circles there now. Just, just how your, your memory plays up with you as the years go on. And maybe there was. I remember I used to stop at it, passing by on the motorbike, you see. I had came the back road to Cookstown. I've tried that wee road I used to go on a couple of times, but I've never seen no sign for stone circles. If they didn't cut the grass, you wouldn't know half of this stuff was here. A couple of big stones over here. See, that's a wee pile there. See, you think that's leftovers? That's a wee cairn or whatever you call it. Maybe one of them others. That's a big boy there, he move. Bear in mind, this could even be bigger. The them oil fields out there, the peat hasn't been taken away. There could be even more stones. This is what they found. So the proper sort of cairn or whatever. This sign will tell us. This sign will tell us all. No one's liking stone circles now. Oh, she's getting all excited. They're all numbered and all, like. All numbered. All they need now is that you are here. And then we would know what we're looking at. Where were they built? See, nobody knows. The construction of stone circles and rows represent considerable organisation and effort, but their precise functions remain uncertain. Maybe that was like doing SOS years ago for a spacecraft to come and find them. Like. So I often think, like, you might know if. Earth was to have a nuclear war and there's a couple of spacecrafts up there with so many human beings and that spacecraft travels and crashes into another planet. What's the first thing them people are going to do on that planet? They're going to go and cut down a few trees to make a shelter. But back to Stone Age times. So these sophisticated people land on another planet will become like Stone Age man and they have to start evolution all over again. So who'd you say that the one that built all these stones and all here didn't come from another planet originally. Christ landed here, started off a stone age. You don't know these things. You know, can, you know, I think it's funny that people want to sleep twice a day. If people were allowed to, we would fall asleep in the middle of the day. So maybe the planet we came from, now I'm only speculating here, but maybe the planet we came from had a 12 hour day. They're like a lunar. Luna would have four sleeps a day. She could be doing a, a planet where a uh, six hour a day. So she can have her sleep at night. So it does 24 hours suit us. I don't think. I, maybe we're not even from Earth. They did an experiment one time where they kept people in uh, A lab, basically. They could eat, sleep, do what they want. They didn't know what time it was. No daylight, no darkness. You want to go to sleep, turn the light out. You want to wake up, turn the light on. And if I'm right, it was a 22 hour day that they, their bodies fell into. It wasn't 24. So when you don't know when morning is and don't know when night is, and it's not to say one person had 22 hour day and one person had a 6 hour day. You know, some people sleep all day. I went to it. They all went at the same time. So that makes you think we're not from Earth. We're originally from another planet. And probably destroyed that as well. This is fun. 
See, the boys didn't come on that wee trolls, you wouldn't have that wee bullshit, would you? This is the better end up here. You this stone circle is like a box of quality street. You've got a variety. Yeah, you've got different type of wee circles here now, like different type. Not all the same. I don't know, it's loving stone circles. I'm going to walk to Darwin Forest next. I'm the attempt to take the scooter, but I wonder how far I'll get it. The wee boardwalk, right on the boardwalk. No point in me wasting my energy, like. I'm going to go to, uh, if, I, if I can save my energy here and get something to eat and all that with her, we'll go to, to Drum Manor later and then I'll walk to Drum Manor. I wouldn't use a scooter in Drum Manor. What's she go mad about now? Like, she must be feeling the vibes, right? Eh? Is she run at random, or is she following a certain pattern? Eh, it could be uh, some force coming from the earth. She's picking up. Oh, that a cat shit or something? Probably cat shit. Luna, what you up? I'm doing that wee lane one time with Luna, it doesn't go far, it just goes down there to dead end, somewhere you turn a truck. Oh, it's probably for farmers or something. It doesn't look like it was there with me for now. It's a proper lane, but it doesn't have a function today. I tell you what, it's nice and warm in here, this wee lane. That's a wee hot spot. So this lane must have been here before they discovered these circles. Can you imagine the day the farmer found a couple of them stones? He said, oh God, what did I do? Did I say anything? I'm going to lose my land, I was mentioning. Now, he probably found out how much he would get paid for the land. Oh, I'll tell him about the stone circle. Guess it's all stone circle. Hey, what that stone circle there? Looks like cremations. Somebody's been cremated on it. I just... See, these archaeologists might not always get it right, you know. 100 bags for 25 people. Look, look, you see the shade through it, like? So I don't use them. I use the proper bags if, I'm a, if I have a distance to go. I'm using these wee pound shop ones. I know there's a bun nearby. There's a bun just down here at the gate. So I don't have to carry far. The carriage are more easily explained as a burial monument. Monuments. Uh, mounds of stones to cover in humed or cremated burials. Four of the cairns at this place have been found to contain cremated human remains, three of which have been placed in a cyst, a stone lined pit. It may be that the cairns were here first and that the rose put towards them have been added later, along with the stone circles. If these circles were added into the existing Bronze Age cemetery, it could explain why some of them appear missed. Missed uh, shape, shape or something. The low banks of stones. The low banks of stones which cross the site are equally. See, I need to do an original. They could be the tumble remains of area field walls dating to early Bronze Age or Neolithic period. The later stone walls overlie them at the point of intersection. That's the kind of place you need somebody to come and do a wee talk to you about, you know. If you ever have a wee open day, which is probably worth from time to time, Rogo is a bit worthwhile coming with somebody who knows what they're talking about. It'll be even interesting how many tons of peat had they moved to uncover this? How long did it take to uncover it all? Do they reckon there's any more on it on out there? How do they know how far to go? Why not stop at that one? Why did they think this must be more out there? 
probably the top of these stones are poking out a wee bit. But there's some of these wee things, some of these wee circles, the stones aren't poking out much. Like that line there, going along there. You know, that line going along there, it could go on into that field. But they're not, if I was here now, I'm digging this here now, and I'm finding a stone every two or three feet, and I got as far as there, I'd be tempted to go on. So you see how the ground goes on up? So, it shows they would have been buried there under the first four feet, I don't know, six feet of peat. But uh, saying that, there is none here, you see, there's a one there. Look, there's one there, you see. There is one there. See, I'd be tempted to go on. If I had a wee shovel, I'd want to know how far it goes. There's one there, still partly buried. They could be missing the big one. The big one could be in there. Yeah, they could have left instructions and all. You know, the Egyptians wrote instructions up on the, the, the walls and all their big uh, things and all. Instructions of what, what, what all these circles could be could be in the one that's over there. They haven't uncovered yet. It might have stopped just a wee bit too early. Maybe I should put a wee stone circle in the front garden. You want a wee stone circle, would you to play in the front garden, pet? Are you bothered getting stones now? I tell you what, even even some of them wee stones there, see if you got them in a car, it's a bit of a hassle getting them under the garden. And I would buy, wouldn't it? Well, I've seen stones there. I fancy some stones in my front garden. I like something that size there, but I couldn't move them. We need something to eat, Luna. We are starving. We are starving, so we are. I'm hoping there's a bun down here now. I've gone to the effort of picking up this poo. There used to be one. It was a very old fashioned bun down here. One of the old ones would have had when I was. That must have been the first concrete buns, if I mind rightly. See, you might have had stone circles in the middle of the Cookstown Main Street, but they've all been done away with. And these ones were survived because of the back of nowhere. There's a wee bun over there, that's a brave edge of a bun. That bun there, it must, must be much, uh, much younger than them, some of them stones. Well, this wee prehistoric bun, when's the last time you've seen one of them? Right. It's uh, I don't know, it's, a, it's, like, a, it's like a favourite glass. Some type of favourite last stuff. It's not, it's not, it's not hard to concrete. And what, what would this be square thing was for? Is that for a wee picnic table or something? Would that, hey, would, would, they, would they have a dog toilet there? Maybe a wee bit of sand in there at one time? Maybe let the wee dogs go to the toilet there first. Uh. Then, uh, we're going to go to the car now and get something to eat. We're going to go to Darver first. Freeway. They have pen display meters at Darwin Forest. They were free the last time. But uh, I'm sure that after spending the money putting them in, they're going to use them. We'll go on the freeway. What's the point in going driving to Darwin Forest, paying the park, and then walk? The walk is getting there, isn't it? Isn't it? Oh, well, the white ice. I am going to take my scooter nap there. I reckon the scooter will go on that gravel. And then once you get down to the end of that wee path there, it's a boardwalk. How far the boardwalk goes, I don't know. But I've got the lock, and I can uh, hide the scooter somewhere then. Because I'm going to get the direct forest, I want to walk. And I'll, I'll hide it in the trees and chain it. There's dark skies now. Like. Anyway, dark skies, it's always going to be cold, isn't it? Probably a wee bulb, and I say projectors and stuff. Come on now, Luna! 
Might have crossed this road again. Yeah, the noise of going through that tree, I think there's cows coming. Mama, Come get you fed. Want food? Grub? Lina? Lina? Mama, get some for me, Tommy's.